Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at the NVL function in Oracle SQL. So why is NVL needed? Every now and then we work with data uh, sets which have null values. Null is like absence of data. Null doesn't mean zero or null doesn't mean an empty string. Null means that the data is not currently available or the data is not present. So you might have come across many situations where you are doing uh, multiplication of two columns or you know something like that and if the column has any null values a null is thrown so to work under such conditions where you know we are you have null values and you want to change those null values to some default values NVL is very much useful so NVL basically allows us to replace null with some value with some data a character data a, a num numeric data a date anything like that so the expression in which the way the NVL is used is something like this. We write NVL bracket open the first expression. So now this expression will be checked. Now expression 1 will be checked if it has a non-null value or null value. If it has some null value, expression 2 will be used in place of expression 1. If expression 1 is not null, then just expression 1 will be used. So this is the way NVL works, okay. Now expression 1 and 2 can be any data type. But before performing an NVL, Oracle will check like whether expression 1 and expression 2, if they are of different data types, can it uh, implicitly change the data type. If it is not able to implicitly change the data type, even if your expression 1 is having not null values, still it will throw an error because the data types of NVL1 and NVL2 should be matching. If not matching, Oracle should be able to do an implicit conversion. Now I will show an example of this NVL. To understand this, I have, I have logged on to the HR schema and I am using the employees table. I have queried employee ID and commission PCT from the table. So as you can see, there are many values in the table which has commission PCT as null. And there are some records which has some commission PCT. Now commission, now if you are working in such a way and if you write a query like this, you have many records with null values. So if you want to replace this null with a default value, okay, in that case what you need to do is you need to use NVL. As I have written in this statement, what I have done is I have just replaced commission PCT null values with zero. So what I have done is I am selecting employee ID commission PCT just to understand and then I have taken an NVL of commission PCT with zero. So if expression one that is commission PCT returns null value then zero will be substituted instead of null. If commission PCT gives out some other value other than null then just commission PCT's value will be shown. So when I execute this as you can see for employee ID 100 commission PCT is null. So the NVL columns returns 0. It has replaced this null with 0. So this is where how uh, NVL works. But as you see when you scroll down, there uh, see this record with employee ID 145. There is commission PCT as 0 0.4. So it is a non-null value. So nothing has been taken on that. Nothing has been done on that and just 0 0.4 is shown on the screen. So this is a very basic example of using an NVL. Now what I was talking about that is the data type uh, consistency between the expression 1 and 2. As you see for a simple understanding what I have done is I am selecting an NVL from dual table. What I have done is NVL A comma B character A comma B. Now if expression 1 is null then expression 2 is sent right. Over here expression 1 is A it is not null. So when I execute it I get the output A. It is like expression 1 is not null so that is written in the second uh, example I have taken null instead of a and I have taken NVL of null comma b so when I execute it expression 1 is null so expression 2 is written that is b right now I will show one more simple example here I have taken a comma 1 now a is character that is where character 2 or character and 1 is numeric when I execute this I get an output A. It is like A is not null. Okay. So just A is printed on the screen. But before doing this, Oracle would have converted this one implicitly to character. 
वन इज़ अ नंबर बट नंबर टू कैरेक्टर कन्वर्जन कैन बी डन इम्प्लिसिटली बाय ऑरेकल सो इट इज़ जस्ट कन्वर्टेड वन टू कैरेक्ट वन टू कैरेक्टर वन एंड देन प्रिंटेड ए नाउ से सपोज द सेम वे इफ यू आर टेकिंग एन वी एल ऑफ वन कॉमा बी दैट इज नंबर वन कॉमा कैरेक्टर बी नाउ एज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कैरेक्टर कन्वर्जन इज नॉट इम्प्लिसिटली डन टू नंबर बाय ऑरेकल इट इज इट हैज़ टू बी डन एक्सप्लिसिटली इफ पॉसिबल so when i execute this i get an error saying invalid number what it does it did it it tried to convert this b to a new uh, a numeric value which is not possible so it raised an error so this is one place where you know many times you will write a select statement and you will get uh, invalid number or expected this and got this something like that so in that case is what will ha- what is happening is the data type of the nvl expressions are not matching an oracle is not able to do an data type conversion implicitly in this those cases you will get this error of invalid number or you know expected date and got something like that kind of things so i hope this video was informative and you have learned a bit new in this video uh, please do like share and subscribe please do communicate uh, in the comments uh, this is kishan signing off thank you